more is the first one. Hey, bro. Hey, Mr. Moore, how are you? I'd say there's definitely a transition where I'm always having to learn more stuff and trying to dive into more to the playbook every day. But I don't know if there's one certain part I can think of off the top of my mind that may be the hardest, but there's definitely a lot of things you have to put some extra effort in to get right and get to where the ability that you want to have. And But there's definitely a little change, and but it's a good change for me to help just learn more learn more stuff with football, learn more different styles of offenses. And it's been fun. The struggle and the grind has been fun so far. Yeah, so, so far, as much as I've been in this offense through the first three spring practices, that's footwork has been more of a show for me than – I'd say that's one of my biggest, like, growing like growing pains right now. But I'm getting, I'm working at it. and uh, But, yeah, it's setting up your feet, getting your feet right, same footwork to time up certain throws. It's a big part of what we do. And uh, once we get a, a lot more better with that, it can help us down the future with run game, play action game, and all just all types of – all types of our offense. It, Footwork's a big part of us. Well, why is the work so important? It helps us time up with the receivers on a lot of different types of routes and kind of times up with our progression as we go, like left to right or just pick a side. Whatever, whatever play we're running, it helps us with our progression and timing with the receivers. Mainly, yeah, progression and timing with the receivers. All righty, Lonnie. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, how, how, how difficult is that, you know, to, to uh, develop and, and know, you know, and know what's going on as far as the offensive line is concerned? Uh, this also goes with our footwork again, timing up the outside zone steps and meeting the running back at the correct spot. But that's also a big focus that we have every day and about through all of our plays, just timing up the rhythm and the whole flow of the offensive line and the quarterback and the running back, all, all of us in the backfield and in the box. But – there's a – so, like, us same with the offensive linemen, just from snap to handoff, timing is essential, and footwork leads to be the, the best timing you can get, and you can't really have a good timing without footwork first. Hey, Josh. Oh, would you say, uh, as far as the playbook itself and just kind of what you're having to learn, is it more, is it more plays or is it, you know, less – you know, formations more. Like, how would you describe just kind of the makeup of, of what you're, you're you're figuring out right now, flavor-wise? I would say there's a lot of maybe stuff may look different to the eye from watching it from the stadium, but to us, a lot of things are the same. We do a lot of different types of plays off of each other and trying to. I know Coach Cohen talked about it one of his first times talking about his offense, but trying to marry the run game and the pass game and keeping defenses off balance, but. I'd say there's a lot of stuff that will kind of look different, but in the deep part of it, deep down into us and inside the offense and know what, why we're doing certain things, a lot of things are, are the same to us. This can look a little different from the outside looking in. Jeff Drummond? Hey, uh, Bo, I was wondering, uh, what kind of adjustment has it been, you know, being under center more and kind of when was the last time that you spent a lot of time Taking it directly from the center. Yes, I'd say really I, I haven't been under uh, under center offense much at all in my life. I made a couple snaps in high school, but um, it help it helps with I think it allows you to make your feet just faster. It, your feet are more important when you're under center, and timing and meeting the handoff with the running backs more important than that's what a lot of people would think who haven't been around under center offense. But 
it's helping me. I'm getting a lot faster, feel a lot more agile just in these next in this past month, this learn this offense and practicing before even spring practice started with quarterbacks, running backs. But we've we've been working at it and it helps you it helps you with your terminology and your mind and just football in general with uh, you see all the teams what they do on Sundays and now we can compare a lot better than what um, as a lot of offenses can for like what we're doing with compared to our pro style stuff versus most other teams are more shotgun now in college. Is there much of a difference, you know, visually being under center than, than being back in the gun? That's, I mean, not not too much. You can still – you're as close up to the guys in the box, but you can still look around and see what you have to do if you're making a change or a quick adjustment to a play. But it's pretty similar. And it's, yeah, if you just kind of look around, you're just a little closer to the line of scrimmage. But everything, looking at a defense before the play starts, it's still pretty similar. Jeremy? Hey, Bo, anytime you graduate seniors, you, you lose a lot of experience, you lose leadership. Have you been more vocal thus far in the offseason? Have you seen any guys taking steps forward uh, and becoming more vocal as leaders that maybe weren't last year? Yes, I have. I know um, me and Joey have both been working really hard to grind out a spot. We've both been leading and talking a bunch throughout this whole offense in this process. but. I know Luke Fortner, he's, he's been a leader before, but he's, all, he's leading us really a lot, a lot up front. Same with Quentin Wilson. Quentin Wilson's helping us out a lot. He's leading people, taking a new roles. And he's, he, I can see him being an emerging leader in the future also. But, um, yes, we, we all are. There's, I know we lost people, lost a lot, of, lost some faces that were captains. But as we're, all, we're all working on it. We're all finding the right way to pull us together and pull us forward. Lonnie? I th- like with our offense, ex- kinda. Is that, is that what you're asking? Yeah. So like we can have, still like we'll be under center, we're in the huddle, but we can still speed up to the line. We're not like a just because we're going, we're, we're going to be in the huddle most of the time does not mean we're we're slow or not approaching the line of scrimmage fast with tempo. But to going fast just kind of means to me, really is kind of your tempo to the huddle, your tempo of your snap cadence, and depending on what you want to do, if you want to. If you have a play that you may need to make some adjustments and it takes a little time to get it going at the line of scrimmage, then that may take a little slower. But some plays you want to get going right when you get to the line of scrimmage. All right, our last one for Bo is John Long. Go ahead, John. Hey, Bo. You know, being a quarterback from the state of Kentucky, you're going to get a lot of attention and a lot of support. Uh, are you surprised by that? I mean, here we are, a basketball school, supposedly, in the middle of March Madness, and people are talking about the quarterback battle and all that. How, what's going through your mind when you hear stuff like that? I mean, for me, I'm just working to be the best player I can every day, and I know, like, again, I've been a basketball fan all my life, and I've always been a more Kentucky football fan in my life. I still wish they were playing right now. I'll, be, I'll always be a fan of them. But... Really, I'm just – I'm not paying attention to that too much. I'm doing the best I can. And I know all, all of us quarterbacks are doing the best that we can and keeping the best to with each other and working hard. And we're all friends, but we always we all want to start and we all want to play. Okay, both thank you very much. Appreciate it. And we'll have uh, uh, Joey here.